Good morning, everyone. It's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess. Um, here to do your What's Cracking reading for Tuesday. Oh, boy, it's still very hot and my brain is still having a little bit of issues trying to get back to some normality. I'm still a bit mushy. Um, this week, I will be out of action for the next few days. I'm trying to make sure that your readings are up for the week. Um, and I will try to see if I can get some readings done over the next few days. If you're after a personal reading with me, I strongly suggest you still send it through. Um, I may not get around to it this week, but at least I can put you on a list for next week. Um, because it will back up if I'm off for a few days, I can guarantee you. If you're interested in readings or the life coaching program that I'm currently offering, I've still got reduced prices till Christmas. I do ask that if you are interested, you get in before Christmas, register your intent so that at least I can offer you the reduced rates. If you're not sure about the life coaching, I'm more than happy to answer that in an email. So I want to say thank you so much to everyone. I had some beautiful things to read this morning when I woke up that people had written for me. Um, I don't miss anything you read. I always read through everything. I always let you know I've read through everything. Um, but sometimes people write me really personal. Um, I'm not talking inappropriate. I'm talking about really personal experiences and I just feel that it's beautiful that you feel comfortable enough to share that with me so I want to say a huge thank you to you people as well um, I probably won't get to go live tomorrow although as I've said there's a possibility still sees if my motherhood skills are still up to scratch with four grandchildren um, I might be a little bit more organized than what I think I am going to be all right we're going to use the Gilded Tarot Royale for your reading today. Alright, let's see what's happening in the world of tarot. In the wonderful world of tarot. Okay, so we have the Page of Swords coming straight out. The Page of Swords is a page. It's a messenger. This is a message of communication or wanting to communicate asking for communication so you may not have been talking to this person they may have been keeping a little bit of an eye on you here though with this page of swords here's a little bit of a, a watch wait and see person i don't like this stalker thing it makes it sound negative we all stalk um this is someone who's been watching you someone who wants to talk to you but is trying to find some sort of way of getting through, some sort of way of, of breaking perhaps a, a, a vow of silence is what Spirit's saying to me. So I don't know what's been going on there. Maybe your this whoever this person is has not been talking to you for whatever reason. Um, and they want to talk now. There may be an apology here because sometimes we see the sword as that communication around something that may need to be expressed but whoever this person is they're actually trying to find some way to communicate and then we have the card of communication all right so this is the card of very quick very rapid backwards and forwards conversation it is the arrows of love it is a communication where people are expressing their passion here um and it's going backwards and forwards. The two people sharing communication here. All right. Somebody feels a bit sad about the past. Somebody has regrets and remorse um, about what has happened in the past. So there's some um, need to express their feelings or their hurt and pain. The Five of Swords is a bit of a sad card too because it means someone's more focused on the past than what they are in the future and there's obviously stuff in the future that they need to be focused on but they're more focused on the regrets here. All right and then we have could be dealing with a Leo here. Um, we have here someone who has made changes to themselves. They may have put in some work to work on their their own 
perhaps limitations or their own ways of doing things, someone who's tamed their inner beast, someone who's understood the value of going inside and working on their own aspects. I feel like there's a lot more with that card, but I won't get in too deep. Six of Pentacles. Okay, so someone here has, has realized that something in the past they hadn't invested in. There was something in the past, perhaps this relationship with you, it might have just been generally in their life. Um, um, but I feel like this is, you know, a lot to do with your situation. This person has realized or had some sort of awakening or realization that perhaps they've taken people for granted and haven't always invested in a way that was healthy. So your person may have walked away because they couldn't invest in a situation with you because of their own limitations, because of their own inability to share the, to share the wealth, to share the feelings, to share the emotions. And this person is coming to some sort of realization here that they need to, and this doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. This could be a family member, a friend, but it's somebody who's realized here that they were unable to invest in you the way you were investing in them. The star card is here too. So it sort of implies that this break from this person or this sort of gap hiatus that you've had here was really necessary for you both to build your own skills. Um, it could be that you both have had to do um, deep inner work. There could have been something that was said way back when the communication broke down. There could have been something that said was said to both of you, I, I'd say, by the feeling of this, that triggered perhaps some emotions or some insecurities, some healing that needed to be done. And this trigger is what has got either you and or your person working on your own energies. I feel like this person has regrets about what happened, but it sort of feels like you're mirroring this person anyway. It feels like you have the same sort of regrets or remorse about a situation. Um, but I feel like with the Eight of Wands, it's like it's time now to nut it all out and get it out on the table and ensure now that you can move forward without those regrets. All right, let's see where this is going. Oh, yeah. So we have the Nine of Wands coming through. Now, the Nine of Wands is the card of the Wounded Warrior. I really am going to have to get that new pair of glasses. They just keep sliding down my nose all the time. Maybe it's the sweat. <laughs> Um, I might have to put a band-aid across my nose so that it can't slide down. Uh, nine of Wands coming through. And the Nine of Wands is a card that talks about, this card is the card of the Wounded Warrior. This is a person who's been through a lot. They have constantly fought for their own rights. They are in a submissive position here though. So they're ready to bow down. They're sort of no longer guarding the ones behind them. So to me, this is a person who's sort of feeling very submissive, like they can come forward now and not be shot down. <laughs> okay, so we have the hanged man coming through or the hanging man in this deck. The hanging man is, I mean, the, the, the picture tell it speaks a thousand words really, doesn't it? Um, this is a person who's been I actually feel this is more your energy here. I feel like you've been in some sort of suspended animation. Perhaps, you know, there's there was a lot of hurt and pain in the past. Um, and because of this hurt and pain, you know, I feel that there was a need to go inside and look at things from other perspectives. You may have learned a lot about yourself in this time. You may have had to do that deep dive that I always talk about. Um, because there's a lot of this energy of no longer being guarded, no longer standing there defiant. No, this isn't like that anymore. It's like you're to a point now where you want to really close this out, close it down, finish it off. It's done. It's done its day. No matter what happens here, I feel that you've been suspended for long enough and you want to sort of finish it out now. Finish out. All right, let's see where we're going with this. 
All right, so we have the card of the lovers coming through here. So it's definitely love for some of you with the four of wands, uh, four of wands, Yvonne, these sharp pointy things. Okay, four of swords. I do think the four of wands probably is relevant here too. I often think when I call a card out wrong, there's a reason spirit's done that for me. Um, because I feel like sometimes the energy of both is probably here. Being that I am an intuitive reader, sometimes the cards are shown a little bit differently and I do sort of falter on them thinking is this meaning that somebody really wants stability from this somebody wants to be more four of wands in this whole situation there is this feeling here of healing strong healing um the lovers is a card that represents the sign of gemini we do have gemini and pisces both represented here this gemini energy with the lovers card is very much about choice choosing a direction so somebody could have made a choice to come back around somebody could have made a choice here between two people um, and this may have taken a lot of their energy to do this so they may have been through a pretty difficult time i feel like this person is still in heat healing healing energy but then you may still be too if you've been working on yourself you may still be in this sort of transition phase and I strongly feel transition here with this card all right we've got a lot of major arcanas coming out here so I have the world cards the three major arcanas on the table wow okay because we have the high priestess as well and we have the chariot okay interesting 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 a lot of major arcanas in your reading this morning so i have seven cards on the table and five of them are major so some very big intervention coming here from the universe this isn't something that you you are still in this healing mode the universe is stepping in here they have to there's something that's not moving there's something that's not um Perhaps this has taken a long time, but something isn't moving because we do have the chariot card here, the card of cancer. So something has been a little stuck. Intuitively here, I feel like you or this person or even both of you understand that something has to be closed out. You're probably both still reeling and healing from this situation um, and something has to be finished out here with the world card there's a cycle that needs to be closed and i feel like it's almost like the universe is getting a little impatient and it's taking so long here they want forward movement you know this too you know this your person knows this something has to be has to be closed off there's an open situation here which of course becomes very karmic and it keeps rolling over until someone sort of lifted their game i like that spirit um there's sort of like this energy of, of of bringing something to fruition, something that's taken a long time. All right, so we have the Nine of Cups coming through. You know, it's really interesting energy, I've got to say here. Two of Wands coming through too. There's this energy that everybody knows what they need to be doing. Spirit's sort of like they're going, you know what, you two know this and be and both of you know you both know inherently know the high priestess is here you have a deep knowing that something is not has not been finalized here has not been finished and the universe is not the universe does not like the energies when they are out of kilter something is destined here there is a destiny here um something is destined to move forward but is not going in the direction it needs to go in i feel both people in this both want a result both want a resolution and the universe wants you to finish it off to do it done dust it but yet despite the fact it's what you both want you're both holding back here at the intersection at the crossroads wondering how to move forward 
And this particular chariot card is stuck. <laughs> the sphinxes aren't moving. All right, let's just see what the last card is and we'll go back over it. Five, four of cups coming through. Okay, this is quite interesting because what I see here is two people who both are reluctant to make the first move. That's really interesting. All right. So we have someone who's been keeping an eye out and holding back on communication. I feel like they're ready now. Someone is ready to move forward. We do have this eight of wands, which just implies that there are messages going backwards and forwards here. I don't feel like with this card that you're talking to this person at the moment, but I feel like you both want to communicate. There is regret and remorse about the past. I feel like you've both been sort of thrown into this healing energy. So you were both triggered here by something that happened in the past. And I feel like whoever this is here, whether this is you or your person, this is a reluctance to give to a situation that you know you're meant to be giving to. There is destiny here. Something is really, um, something was meant to move forward and it didn't. Someone's held up the proceedings as it was. And I feel like you've both been um, set into action You've both been led and you've both done what you were meant to do, but there was meant to finish out and there was, I feel this energy of something now being, um, it's sort of like, it, it maybe it's been so long that both of you are reluctant to communicate. The crazy part is you both want this. The wish cards here. The universe is saying here it needs to be closed off it needs to be finished there needs to be some sort of closure here and I feel like you know that because the, the high priestess is here implying that there is intuition here so you both know it's like you're both receiving a calling you both understand but maybe one person's reluctant to communicate and you're waiting for that too it's possible with this four of swords but again with the energy of the four of wands where it feels to me like you want the stability here all right let's have a look what we've got all oh, the five of cups has come back up in them <laughs> oh, eight of wands okay when you shuffle and shuffle and shuffle and you get the same cards back again okay a lot of water energy here a lot of love a lot of cups a lot of emotions and then we get the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody is really wants to express emotion here. They want to break their silence, look, and communicate. All right. Let's read an oracle card. And we'll read from the Journey of Love on this one. All right, the swans come straight out. Just card 67. I love it when spirit has a quick pick. <laughs> okay, gliding with grace, nothing is withheld from this beautiful soul. It can discern what is genuine, authentic, loving and what is from the ego parading. Even though the most impressive words or gestures, sorry, I think I do that every time. Even through the most impressive words or gestures, this soul can sense the holding within of a core of fearful separation from the divine. With grace, it allows it all to be and moves amongst this world with inspiring light and grace. Paramahamsa, great swan, the soul that moves the souls of others is reaching to you now. The guru, the teacher, the light, the love that is all. You are blessed by sacred divine relationship with the essence of love itself that adores you and only wants for you to be free. This oracle reaches to you now, indicating that you are held within the grace of a great soul, a teacher of the heart of the spirit, and there is endless light bestowed upon you for protection. Your path ahead is assured. Soon you will be shifting from hope to a sense of inevitability in your attainment of the spiritual goals closest to your heart. Be with your practice of love. Through meditation, yoga, kindness, nature, dance, singing, whatever speaks to your heart and know that you are one with the divine. It's only a matter of time before you realise it. And the poem here is only small and it says, 
to love from afar, all we share are dreams of what will unfold. So simple, but so beautiful. Have a wonderful day.